four days and you are off to your weekend and you don't have to work. Hopefully you're not working on Sunday or Saturday, but um, I hope you're keeping sane at home. I have heard some stories of people going a little insane. My family might be one of them, my nephew, but I might have him as a visitor one of these days here and he can say hi to you. But, um, but anyways, um, we're going to be on lesson 88. Uh, pages 558, remain, uh, remainders in word problems about equal groups. All right, are you there with me? All right, let's get started. We have practice solving equal groups problems using division. All right, uh, in these problems, there were no remainders from the division. In this lesson, however, we're gonna begin practicing division word problems that involve remainders. When solving these problems, we must be careful to identify uh, to identify exactly what the question is asking. So we're gonna do a few examples here on the board. Example first, the first example here is, Lily needs to place 100 bottles into boxes that hold six boxes each. Okay, so again, look at the example. Lily needs to place 100 bottles into, uh, into, uh, into 16 boxes, or uh, into boxes that hold six bottles each. Oh, okay. I did it right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so again, when doing word problems with remainders, we're going to do one today. You need to be careful to identify exactly what the question is asking. So what is the question asking here? Well, first of all, how many bottles can be filled? Okay. How many bottles can be filled? How many bottles will be left over? Then how many boxes are needed to hold all the bottles? Okay. Each of these questions asks for different information to answer each question. We will begin by dividing 100 by six. They gave us the information there. We have 100 bottles. We need to get them into six bottle or into uh, boxes that hold six boxes each. So we need to figure out how many boxes we're gonna need. All right, so let's divide here. Uh, 100 divided by six. Uh, we're gonna take, of course, one cannot divide into six. So we're gonna take 10 divided by six. So what's that? Very good, one, one times six is six. 10 minus six is four. Bring down my zero, 40 divided by six. Okay, very good, it is six. Okay, six times six is 36. And then subtract that is remainder four. We're gonna put our remainder four here, all right? So let's go back to the questions that we're asking here, all right? The result is, yes, 16 remainder four which means that 100 bottles can be se separated into 16 groups of six bottles. Uh, however, there's gonna be four extra bottles. So how are we gonna put another box or how are we gonna use another box? So letter A, let's see, let's answer the question for letter A, how many boxes can be filled, all right? First of all, we know that uh, uh, 16 boxes can be filled, right? Or 16, I'm holding up. 16 fingers, sorry. I don't have 16 fingers, I have 10. Uh, but you see that we can hold, or we each, uh, uh, we see that we can fill 16 boxes with six bottles in each group. So 16 boxes can be filled. However, remember this little remainder here, okay? What are we gonna do with the remainder? Which is compost. Oh no, do not fear, okay? There are four remaining bottles that do not completely fill a box. There are four. So, filling 16 boxes, there will actually be four, four bottles left. So the answer would not be 16. We do not need to fill 16 boxes because there's four. What are we gonna do with those four? Are we gonna ship them individually? What are we gonna do? Okay, so although there are four remaining bottles, uh, the four remaining bottles do not complete an entire you know, box. Um, <clears throat> another box is gonna be needed to hold them. So that gives me, that tells me that, well, it's not gonna be 16 bottles. It's gonna be, or 16 boxes, sorry, I've said bottles here. It's not gonna be 16 boxes. I'm actually gonna need 17 boxes, okay? Again, the four remainder one here, the, four, the remainder here tells me I'm gonna need an extra box. So my answer is not 16 boxes. I would need 17 boxes to fill, <clears throat> to fill uh, uh, 17 boxes to, to fill 100 bottles and six in each. Does that make sense? So let's look at lesson practice here. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna use a statement below to answer problems A through B. I'm gonna see how many of you can 
uh, message me back. And again, if you're going to message me back to either through, uh, through, uh, <clears throat> through email or through text, you have my number. Lesson 88 is uh, you're going to have to text me and let me know that that's the lesson because I've already done a few, uh, <clears throat> a, a few things here where I want you to get the response back to me. Um, so you're going to do lesson practice and I'm going to see who can give me letters A and B. You're going to use a statement below to answer problems A and B. Tomorrow, 32 students are attending an award ceremony. Uh, ceremony. Each table will, uh, will seat five students. How many tables can be seated? Can you answer that question? Letter B, <clears throat> how many tables will be needed? If you can text both those answers to me first, fourth grade, I'm going to give you some team points. And I have been adding team points here for people that have been texting me and messaging me back um, to give me answers for some lessons here. So I want to involve you. And I know we're not in class, but we're still getting points. So if you can message me first, you have to be the first one, all right, to message me first and to give me the answers for lesson 86, or sorry, not 86, lesson 88, uh, today, Thursday, letters A and B. All right, let's see if you can do that. I love you all, miss you all. Have a great rest of your day and let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.